Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on OFM software and OFM is oil field manager, right? It's very interesting and important software to be used, especially if you are petroleum engineer. This software can handle big data, production and injection data, reservoir data and pressure data and so on. And to use that data, Actually, OFM take the data from a database, all right? And that's the subject of our topic, the database that will be used by the OFM to get the data. And we can have the database, we can create the database in Microsoft Access database. And as you can see, we are now inside the Microsoft Access database. Here we already have several tables, three tables actually, header ID, injection, and production. So I've already prepared the database so I can show it to you. So let's check it for the header ID. I have unique ID, all right? I list down all my well bores, all my well, all right? And the name of my well is Engman-00 something, all right? That's the name of my well bore. And this is the, again, the well bore column, the alias, the block, the formation, the type of the well, and X and Y coordinate. Okay, so maybe you already handle a field and you use OFM, you can create a database like this and you can follow these columns. All right, the name of your well, the name of the completion and the block, the formation, the type of the well, right? And the coordinate. X and Y is not mandatory by the way, but if you want to show the location of your wells inside the OFM, then I recommend you to check the X and Y coordinate of your well bores. And maybe you can get the data from the geologists or maybe drilling engineers and put that inside the OFM. Okay, so you can analyze your well bore better. All right, so you can follow this configuration, the table. And if you want to create a new table, just click here, create table like this one. All right, like this one. And then you create the table, maybe using Excel first, take the data from the Excel and then here, right click, you can just paste the data. I skip the Excel part because yeah, you know that already, all right? The format of the table is exactly the same. So in Excel, I create this table, unique ID, well bore, alias, block, formation, type, X and Y, all right? And then here, right click, I just paste the data. And I will have this table inside the Microsoft Access. Okay, so this is for the header ID. This will identify your well inside the OFM. And this is the injection because my reservoir is water flooded. So here I have the water injection well, the name and the date and the monthly water injected volume and the cumulative water injection. So I will have here monthly injection data that will be stored inside the OFM. So you can follow this configuration. Again, the name of your well bore, right? And then the date, the monthly injection volume and the cumulative. And maybe you already have the water injection rate. You can add a new column here, all right? Like this one, you can insert field, okay? And maybe you want to create injection rate like this, right? Or maybe you already have the data for right click and then you can rename the data. Well had injection pressure. If you have the data, then you can store the data inside the database and then you store that inside the OFM. Okay, if you want to delete this column, just right click and delete it. 
all right right click and delete field do you want to permanently delete the selected fields yes all right very easy and for the production i have the id the unique id the date again and the oil flow rate liquid flow rate water flow rate gas flow rate and here i have the monthly oil volume the oil volume per month and then the monthly liquid volume monthly water volume and also monthly gas volume this is the cumulative oil production cumulative liquid production cumulative water production cumulative gas production and days on production monthly days on production so for example in january we have 31 days then i will make it 31 here okay again i create the table originally inside the excel the spreadsheet and i copy it and then paste it here okay and you can add also other information like water cut or water oil ratio right very easy and if you have reservoir pressure data you can also make a new table here right you can make two columns the date and then the reservoir pressure itself and then yeah you can copy and then paste it here okay so so far so good again i have header id injection table and production table you can also have other tables like reservoir property table reservoir pressure table and others all right as many data as possible that you want to highlight and you want to analyze inside the ofm you can make the table you can make the database and then store it inside the ofm connect it with the ofm okay so from here i'm just going to show you the output in the ofm so let's go to the ofm all right this is how the ofm look like i have 135 completions you can see the name of my completion or my well bore. All right. And this is the map showing the coordinate, the location of each well, and also the type of the well, like producing well, dry well, or shut in well, or injection well. And for example, I want to show you a production plot. I want to highlight this well, and then I want to go to plot. I want to plot the, for example, production oil rate. Okay. Yeah, this is the production oil rate plot. I'm just going to change the color to green and make it. Okay. Yeah, this is the production plot, the oil rate plot, but that's not the main subject of this video. Again, I want to highlight the importance of creating database before you jump in into the OFM, right? You need to create the database in Microsoft Access. First, you can create the tables inside the Excel as per your available data. You create the columns, you create the tables, and then you copy and paste on your Access. And then you connect the OFM to get the data from the database. And then, yeah, you can enjoy the OFM. You can analyze the data using OFM. All right. So that will be very easy. And in next video, I will show you how to connect the OFM with the database or with the access file. All right. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next OFM videos. Thank you.